Shabbat Shalom. Giving all the praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bashum, Yahushai, Bashum, Rachak, Wadash. Dub unto the elder apostles and bishops of the great millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the old folk like Tabernacle of David that is scattered abroad throughout the earth. I'm just uh, reacting to this uh, report, which is, uh, this happened in um, Palmdale and Lancaster, where, you know, various people, they reported seeing uh, the chariots, you know, hovering in the sky, you know, doing, you know, zigzag uh, motions and, you know, hovering and, you know, doing things that, uh, you know, caught their eye. And uh, the, the people were definitely, uh, when you see some of the footage, you can tell some of these people were very, um, you know, astonished, you know, amazed, bewildered. You know, and they're not used to these type of encounters. It's not usual, you know, and, um, you know, we understand what, you know, what they are, um, what their purpose is, of course, which is all in the scriptures. And, you know, based on the reactions from the people that's not used to seeing that, you know, they were a bit dismayed. You could hear it in their voices. But uh, we know the scriptures say in Jeremiah, the 10th chapter that, um, you know, the heathens are dismayed at the signs of, of, of heaven. You know, we're not to be dismayed at them. You know, these signs are really just uh, tokens to measure the times diligently, like as it says in, uh, was that second Ezra, the ninth chapter? Let me uh, get that real quick. Let's go to Second Ezra nine, and um, start at one. It says he met. He answered me then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is very same time to wherein the, the highest will begin to visit the world which he made, and he's definitely visiting the world. You know, we've had this this year so far." All kind of, um, you know, natural disasters, you know, um, disastrous, uh, you know, weather patterns. Um, we've had solar eclipses, um, you know, different, all type of different things that had happened this year that were very significant. You know, brothers did lessons on them and uh, they're continuing, you know. You had these uh, cicadas that invaded, you know, parts of uh, Babylon and, you know, in the, in the south, um, the Midwest, you know. And uh, now, you know, we're in hurricane season. So, you know, there's a, a big uh, hurricane coming soon, I'm pretty sure. Because you just had one that, that passed. Was it uh, Storm Debbie, Hurricane Debbie? But, uh, you know, it wasn't like a big one. You know, like uh, Harvey or going back, uh, you know, Katrina. But uh, it's, it's, it's due, you know. Eventually, it's gonna something big is going to come as well as a, a, a huge earthquake. You know, a lot of people still anticipating a, a big one to hit the West Coast because the fault lines have been uh, very reactive as of late. You know, a bunch of uh, earthquakes followed by a gang of aftershocks hitting on the west you know even over here in vegas you know you had a a, a, a what a four point something you know that was well it was um maybe closer to the state line but you know we felt it people felt it over here so you know there's a lot of rare things happening so we definitely in the time of the lord's visitation it says therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world uh Recently, Russia just had a uh, was it a seven point five or something like that, and then it triggered a volcanic eruption. Like right after a, a, a volcano erupted. So, <clears throat> yeah, this is you know part of those signs. It says, <clears throat> and uproars of the people in the world. We're seeing that happening on a major scale in different countries. 
definitely going to hit over here as soon as uh <laughs> probably right right before or right during or after the elections you're going to see you know all kind of um you know violent protests and riots and all kind of stuff cuz people ain't going to be happy with either choice with whoever gets in in office all right so it's going to you know light people in an uproar it says uh, then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee even from the beginning for like all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end and the end is manifest even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and endings and effects and signs all right so <clears throat> when we see these uh chariot sightings these are just part of the the, the signs the lord said when you when you see these things you know uh look up for your salvation is nigh okay so uh i'm not going to read this whole article there is um some footage of this i'm gonna go to youtube all right and uh, show a few of them because it was different um uh sightings like this little still shot right here was one of the sightings and they were uh illuminating in in you know blue lights you know there was a you know it had flat flashes and you know damn near looked like uh siren lights but i'm like i don't know if these are drones or not you know because esau we know that he with his left you know on the left hand side you know, he saw he 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 can make things happen too. He can make some uh, aircraft that can, you know, mimic certain abilities of the cherries. Not all of them. Not all the abilities. All right, but uh, I'm pretty. I, I'm. I wouldn't be surprised if he has aircraft himself that kind of you know mimics the chariots. You know, it has brightness to it and it twinkles and it, it moves a certain way and and in, in, in a certain um. Uh, movement but uh we know that uh he's not the most high okay he's trying to be like the most high but that'll never happen but anyway um so these is this is based on the different reports i'll just read a little bit of this and then we'll go to the uh, the footage it's, uh it says ufo sightings have been reported in california particularly in the palmdale and lancaster areas with residents detailing their experiences on the ring neighbors app the reports of multiple UFO sightings on the app stirring, stirring both curiosity and concern within the community describe unusual aerial activity. One person shared, you guys, you won't believe what I just saw. You guys, I saw a UFO. I was walking my dog in my backyard and saw a bright light up in the sky. At first, I was like, oh my God, what a cool plane that Northrop assembled. But to my dismay, it was a hovercraft, you know, and like going back to Jeremiah, you know, be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. OK, we know that, you know, uh, the chariots, that's what these are. You know, they act as um, eyes for, for the most high. All right. Like it tells you in uh, Zechariah. Zechariah saw him as a he described him as a flying roll and they were basically hovering uh, Zechariah 5 and 1 it says then I turned and lifted up mine eyes and looked and behold a flying roll all right look at that word uh, flying I believe the word is uh, I, I wop in the Hebrew to fly fly about fly away to fly hover all right to fly away to cause to fly to, to light upon so he saw a hovering roll okay a flying saucer if you will he says, and he said unto me, what seest thou? And I, and I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof of, is 20 cubits and the breadth thereof 10 cubits. So he wasn't really that big, but he, he did see this object. 
It says, then he said unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. And you see it as activity worldwide. Mostly in uh, over uh, Babylon. Because the eyes of the Lord are upon that, that sinful kingdom. He's getting ready to destroy it off the face of the earth. And that's, I mean, we know in the original context that to, to qualify it, he's talking about Israel the, 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 as a people. Our people is that sinful kingdom, a sinful nation. But uh, we know that America and a bulk of us being here, you know, America is, uh, she's her sins are being remembered because they have reached unto heaven. And the Lord is ready to pull the elect of them, uh, the elect of his people out of her so that they don't be partakers of her plagues that she's getting ready to receive, which is, you know, that nuclear uh, destruction. All right. So it says uh, back in verse three again, it says, then he said unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stilleth shall be cut off as on this side according to it. And everyone that sweareth shall be cut off as on that side according to it. Okay. So <clears throat> that's, that's basically what they do. All right. Uh, let me go to Proverbs. 15 and is it three it says the eyes of the lord are in every place beholding the evil and the good and the, and the chariots even have eyes on them when you read ezekiel the uh the, uh, the first chapter i believe also even in uh revelation uh, the tenth chapter they have eyes on on the chariots all around the chariots so they definitely are eyes of of, of the lord Okay, so um, he said, uh, please tell me I'm not the only one who saw. And then here's the tweet. Let me uh, go here. <clears throat> and this is one of the ones that was reported. He said, uh, and this was on the app that, that they uh, mentioned. He said, me and my daughter were hanging out in the backyard when we both saw it's like when we both thought and uh, we both thought we saw a shooting star <clears throat> falling east. It stopped very abruptly and zigzag going north. So I definitely wasn't a regular aircraft at all. Not a plane, not a helicopter. It says checking to see if anyone else saw it or if we're both going crazy happened about 30 minutes ago. So they thought that they saw a shooting star. Right. And um, I want I'm going to go to this scripture in the Apocrypha because in the scripture that I'm going to uh, look for, it describes the, the, the chariot that followed us in the wilderness as like a, a, a star. Because, you know, they're, from a distance, you know, you, you try to uh, figure out if they are star or not, because sometimes if they like how I differentiate. At night when I see a chariot or when I see an actual star, um, stars are set in their place so they don't really move. Now, if you all of a sudden see a star just move out of nowhere and it starts to make some kind of movement, that then that's definitely a chariot. All right. But if it's just sitting still and it's not moving, you you know, you got your eyes locked on it like, is that a chariot? And it's, it's just not moving. It's just set in place. That's more than likely a, a, a star, okay? Because those are uh, celestial bodies as well. You know, we uh, according to First Corinthians the fifteenth chapter, it talks about the glory of uh, the celestial. You know, and stars. You know, the illumination that it has. You, you got the uh, the constellations. You got the moon, uh, the sun. Those are different celestial bodies, given different. Um, levels of of, of uh, radiation and light illumination and they all differ from one another okay so anyway um let me see real quick
I'm gonna try to find it real quick. Is it this one? It is, um, yeah, Wisdom of Solomon 10 and 17. Uh, it says, Render to the righteous a reward of their labors, guided them in a marvelous way, and was unto them for a cover by day in a light of stars in a night season. You know, in other words, they were, um, when 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 we came out of uh, Egypt into the wilderness, you know we had that 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 um, the angel which was the Lord in a chariot, and it was known as a, a cloud, you know, as a covering by day, and a pillar of fire by night. So it was like a lamp, like a like a light that followed us to give us some illumination in the, in, the, in the dark night. All right. So here is this, uh, it describes that same phenomenon as a light of stars in the night season. It says, and brought them through the Red Sea and left them through much water. So even the chariots can be mistaken for stars, you know, especially when they're in the distant. All right. So they thought that this was a shooting star. And it could have, you know, very well just been. A chariot because they said it moved in a zigzag formation right so it obviously it wasn't an actual star <laughs> it was definitely it had to have been a chariot what they saw okay so this person says here um which uh which was in the article that i read is the the actual uh post in that app from the from the individual that that witnessed it the flying objects in sky says I was intrigued by my first neighbor who posted that he saw a UFO from his yard. So my mom and I went out to see if we see anything. They were too far to me to confidently say they were flying saucers. But then you did anyone else see multiple? We counted six after being out there for about 10 minutes. So. Clearly, they, you know, everybody saw something. All right. And um. Let me go here. So here's a uh, one of the clips of it. Oh, what is that, Mom? What? Mom, you see this? No. Holy shit! What, what is, the hell is that? What is happening? I see this. Oh my god! What the fuck is happening? What is that? You can hear, you hear the trembling in in his in his voice. You know. Sound like his heart is beating a hundred, um, a <laughs> hundred uh, beats per minute, man. Like, listen to his voice tremble, cause that's exactly what the people on the earth are gonna do when Yahweh Shai and the angels pull up. When they finally pull up on on, on planet Earth, you're gonna a lot of people are gonna tremble at the sight of them. It even tells you that in uh. In, in the Gospels, that, you know, men's hearts are going to fail them for fear. All right? And he's just seeing just lights in the distance in the sky, and he's just, he's puzzled. Let me uh, bring that back. Ma, you see this? No. Holy shit! What, what is, the hell is that? What is happening? Can I see this? Oh, my God, what the fuck is happening? What is that? What is that? You hear that? He <laughs> sound like his heart gonna give out, man. Yeah, he's looking at that because it's strange. It's not a usual occurrence. It's another strange phenomenon. It's not strange to us because we know this is either the, the angels coming down, you know, uh, basically the Lord manifesting, you know, his uh, his glory on on earth through the angels, and 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 you know, showing themselves, or this could be. You know, Esau trying to flex on the left hand side. You know, but the Lord, the Lord will not give his glory unto another, man. Okay. We we know that the angels, you know, they have their glory. Okay, and they 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 coming down and making it known. They're here to carry out the instructions of the Heavenly Father, man. 
All right, but let's uh, go down and let's look at this one. This was also, this was in Palmdale. Oh, my God, where's Daddy? I don't know. Oh, my God, I got goosebumps. Papa, come here, hurry. Ah! Tell Jody in there. So he, she saw a cluster, all right, a cluster of them, man. So they're appearing, you know, more and more. All right, that's how we know we're getting closer to this thing of ours, man. And uh, real quick, let me get um, script. Let's go to uh, Psalm 68. <clears throat> Psalm 68 and um, 17 and it says the chariots of the most high are 20,000 even thousands of angels the Lord is among them as in Sinai in the holy place okay so the, the, the chariots are synonymous with, with the angels because the angels are the ones who's piloting those uh, aircraft you know, with all the illumination and dazzling lights flashing, you know, that's that's all part of the glory, man. All right, and uh, they're to and fro in the earth. Let me get a uh, who's this? Second Chronicles. Yeah, Second Chronicles sixteen and nine. It says, "For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth, to shew Himself strong in behalf of them." Whose heart is perfect towards them. All right, because they also are there to, you know, protect the the Lord's chosen as well, to keep them out of danger, keep them from, you know, deliver them from the issues of death, so on and so forth. All right. <clears throat> to, to, to give us courage, strength, comfort. They're working on the minds of uh the leaders of uh, of these nations, you know, because we know wars uh, you know, on the horizon. You know, the war of Armageddon is uh, imminent. So they're playing their purpose, man. All right. But uh, this is what's going on. And also, this was last camp, last Sunday, you know, where we were just teaching. And then, you know, bro brothers randomly looked up and there was a chariot literally spotted directly above us, like literally directly above us, right, ab like, <laughs> right over us. All right. Put the spirit on the prophet. Put the spirit on the prophet. Put the spirit on the prophet. Yeah, right, right above us, you know, at, at the camp. So we're definitely in those times, man, and the eyes of the Lord is definitely everywhere. He's watching everything. So, you know, it, it definitely um, keeps us in order, you know, because, hey, <laughs> you know, we got to be on point, you know, more, especially more so now than, than ever. All right. You know, we want to assure that we're still in a, um, in the most size good graces, you know, that, uh, you know, we're work, we're walking worthy and that, you know, the Lord keeps that hedge, you know, over us. All right. The angels encamp around about those that, that fear the Lord, man, you know, so, you know, it encourages us to keep on the mission, you know, stay on that straight and, and, and narrow. All right. Cause like the scriptures say, you know, He's showing himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect towards him. You know, so that means that your, your your faith needs to be where it's at. You know, and constantly seeking the Lord, man, day to day. You know, so the A, you know, we our our redemption draw of nigh. 
And let me get uh, Luke 21 and was it 28? And it says, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draw of nigh. You know, so that's, we take that as a sign of our redemption drawing nigh. Well, these, the people that don't know what's going on, you know, they're dismayed. Like you heard that dude's voice trembling. Yeah, what is that? You know, he is his he sounded like his heart was about to give out. And that's what the a lot of people, that's what's gonna be their reaction when the Lord returns. They're gonna be amazed at the strangeness of our salvation. Matter of fact, um let me get this one verse in uh second Ezra thirteen. Uh second Ezra thirteen. And uh, one, it says, and it came to pass after seven days, I dreamed a dream by night. And lo, there arose a wind from the sea that it moved all the waves thereof. And I began, and lo, and this is when the Lord, you know, pulls up. He's pulling up, you know, with with all kind, like the Lord's pulling up in a, with a, 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 a heavy space force of his own. All right. A bunch of chariots hovering and they're coming in their glory, man. They're going to be bright illuminated all right and and that his major presence is going to shake up the planet it says and i'll be held and lo that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven and you're gonna hear that uh, the sound of a trumpet it's gonna be pretty loud the whole earth is gonna be on pause it says and when he turned his countenance to look all the things trembled that were seen under him you know so Everybody's going to get, the whole world's going to get shaken up. All right, that's why it says in Revelation 1, every eye shall see him, right? And they're going to, uh, all the tribes of the earth is going to, you know, wail before him. Yeah, Revelation 1 and 7, it says, behold, he cometh with clouds and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, among. All right. So, yeah, man. I'm just reacting to this report and then seeing the uh, the clips and, and the footage. Yeah, we're in that time and we're going to, you know, we're going to continue to see these things, you know, and it's to, to strengthen our, our faith, of course. You know, continue to seek his face, man, doing the right thing. You know, and, and these people they have no idea what this what this all means, man. It's getting ready to get crazy. So, you know, all we can do is, uh, you know, watch as well as uh, pray. And, and these things are not going to catch us off guard. So, Lord willing, y'all edified. And I'm going to give all praise to y'all. Bashim, y'all shy. To the next one, Shalom.